Today we're going to take a look at prime factors. Uh, in front of you, you see three geoboards, and I'm going to illustrate what a prime factor is. And then, then in the other videos, we will do it with numbers. Okay, let's take a look. If I go from here to here, that's one unit. If I go from here to here, that's one unit. See, one, one. And I have a total of one square. So that's a one by one by one. These here are my factors. Because one times one is the product of one. And the number of squares. So I have number of sides. And I have the number of squares. So I have a one by one, which equals one square. Now, I'm going to go ahead, let me use green. Now, I have a, I'm going to do a one, two, by one, two, one, two, one, two. Notice how many squares do I have? <laughs> I was about to write two. I have four squares. I can say two by two. Or I can, which gives me one, two, three, four squares. If I were to add to that, notice these are my factors. How many squares do I have? I have five, six squares. Okay, or a total of six squares, which my factors would be one, two, by one, two, three. Okay, and that gives me a product of six or six squares. If I were going to draw some more, let me go ahead and draw this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven squares. Okay, I have one going across times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going down. And therefore I have my product is seven or seven squares. Uh, can you tell me the difference between sorry about that, between this and this. Take a look at the pictures. Notice here I have one row. Here I have two rows. Anytime you have only one row, it's a prime number. I can't arrange seven squares any other way unless I did it across one two, three, four, five, six, seven, but once again, my factors are still one by seven. Okay, the, when you have a prime number, the only factors you have are one in itself.
and we can see by the picture. Now, let me take this here and copy it. I'm going to move it over here. Okay. The reason I did that is because I want to show you how many different ways I can arrange six. As you can see, I can have one, two, four, two, by one, two, three. So I can have two times three equals six. And the only other way I can say I can have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Not good at drawing straight lines. Okay. I can have a one by six or one times six equals six. Okay. I'm going to give you another example. Let's come over here and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As you can see here, I have a one by nine picture. Geo boards are cool to use in the room because you can use them. They have little pegs if you've never seen them. And you use elastic bands, which kind of scares me in the classroom for safety reasons, but they are fun to use. Okay. Is there any other way to draw nine squares? Well, I can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why can't I? Because you have to have the same amount of squares. Okay. You can't have, when multiplying, it's almost like having, you can't do this because it's almost like having a square out. He's out of here. So that doesn't work. What's another way I can arrange squares? So one's not left out. In order to get the nine, I can say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, look at that. I also have a three by three, which will give me nine. Okay, so there's definitely more than one way to represent or to draw nine. Nine is not a prime number. Where seven, over here, there's only one way to draw it. It's a one by seven or a one by seven. Oh, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. The only way to draw seven squares without having a square left out is to draw a one by seven. Okay, and that's what a factor looks like. That's what a prime number looks like. Now let's put them together in the next video and discuss what a prime factor is.